Hi everyone. Hope everyone is doing well on this on this uh, cool Sunday. Um, I'd like to welcome everybody to my new YouTube channel, and I'm naming it "Be Your Own Hero." And I'm dedicating it to my my father who recently passed away. His name is was uh, Hero H I R O, but the channel is going to be Be Your Own Hero, H-E-R-O. Um, anyway, he passed away on April 1st, very recently. Uh, he was a great parent, a uh, uh, really great person, and, um, you know, he'll be uh, sadly missed. Um, anyway, I had chemotherapy on Friday. I feel, I feel good, and that's why I'm I wanted to share uh, my new YouTube channel. And I don't want people to feel sorry for me. Uh, I would like to be treated the same as I always have been. And, and I'm not, not waiting here to die. I'm creating this channel to share my journey as <clears throat> I'm hoping to inspire you to live a fuller life. If I can inspire change in one person, just one person, then this is all worth it. I am so grateful for each new day, which I feel is just such a true blessing. Though I'm limited physically, I'm not limited mentally. And my mind is as, is as strong as ever. Don't let life pass you by. Embrace it. Embrace opportunity and be the best you can be every day. Why sleepwalk through life when you can uh, just grasp it and, and, and get everything that you can out of it? I'd like to share something with you that uh, my ex-wife Margie shared with me, and she's been a great help and great support, and so thank you. Uh, there was a, a gentleman that we used to go watch years ago, a motivational speaker, his name is Zig Ziglar. And one of the things that Zig has shared is he said, you don't have to be great to start something, but you have to start to be great. Life is for the living. Embrace it and you'll experience things that, that you never expected. I really admire people who have a dream and, and act on it. And I have some really great examples. Uh, and she doesn't know this, but uh, my daughter, Lisa, and her, her fiance and husband, John, uh, how, how many people say, oh, when I retire, I'm gonna travel and, and never get around to it, or they pra procrastinate. What Lisa and John have done is for the last two years, they've been traveling the United States in a trailer, a truck and trailer, and they've gone all throughout the United States and through Canada and Alaska and and they're living their dream and they're working uh, remotely. So they acted on it, which is, you know, incredible. Another example is my friend, Paul Liang. And Paul has uh, been a great mentor, a great friend. Uh, and he was involved in creating a cryptocurrency called Polygold. And the, the biggest presence is in Asia. So he, um, he and his family lived here in Southern California. And he's left his family behind and he's moved to Taiwan to promote um, not only Polygold, but uh, a decentralized uh, exchange called Easy Dex. And so they're working on that and eventually he's gonna bring his family 
to Taiwan. But he has tremendous faith in God and, you know, which is, I, I really admire and I've been um, trying to emulate. And I, I think he's going to do great, great things. Uh, another example is my friend Ken Oda. Uh, and years ago, he decided to uh, buy a large boat. And so he bought a over a hundred foot boat and he converted it into a big fishing boat and invited friends. And we've, we've had some tremendous, tremendous fishing trips and, and memories and, and things like that. But just, just to give examples of people who uh, step out and, and act. And, and that's the most important thing is to act and to do. Um, and, and even if it's something small, start with something small, and but act on it. And get out of your comfort zone and don't pr procrastinate and do things. Because, you know, as they say, life is too short. And it, and it really is. And uh, I'm 62 years old and hopefully I'll make 63 next month, which I... I I'm very confident of doing, but uh, each day, each year that passes uh, is another one that, that you can't get back. You can't get back time. Time is, is so precious. From my perspective, I feel I've been blessed and, and have the ability to see my life in the short term so that I can plan ahead. It's not like... Uh, someone who goes out and drives on the freeway gets hit by a car and, and passes away. Uh, I have the opportunity to um, set some goals. Uh, and these are some of the things that I'd like to share with you that I'd like to accomplish. Uh, I'd like to get healthy and like to be able to enjoy the world. And I also like to take care of my family. And then another goal I have is I want to be able to go fishing with, with my old friends. Uh, and you know who you are, uh, Ken and, and Big Steve and Old Steve and Spicoli and, and Joe and, and uh, Angel and, you know, some of the other guys. Um, I have too much to do. And I have things that I want to accomplish. And I'm determined to accomplish these things. I have stage four cancer, but I refuse to let it get the upper hand. This disease does not define me and it will not control me. I won't let our medical system overwhelm me, which it can. To me, it is wrong when these doctors play God by telling people how long they have to live. They don't know, and frankly, they don't have a clue. I mean, I've been, I've gone through so many tests and everything because they don't know where all the cancer has gone. And the problem is, is many people believe what the doctors tell them. Doctors who do this, in my opinion, are overstepping their authority. In addition, I can easily see how these procedures, treatments, chemo, radiation, how it could change a person. Uh, I refuse to let these things change me. Zig Ziglar said, if it is to be, it is up to me. And that's what I've always lived by. A person in my situation, I feel, needs to control their own path and not let circumstances or a disease divert them from where they want to go. One of my favorite words is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm 
can be broken down into two parts. Entheos, which means God within, and I-A-S-M. I am sold myself. Embrace life and its challenges. And some of you I know are around my age. Don't wait to do things that you want to do. Don't procrastinate because no one knows what tomorrow will bring. When it's your time, it's your time. It's not my time to go. And I will use this time, however long, to hopefully give back and inspire. And if I can inspire just one person, just one person to break out of their comfort zone, to do better, to start a new business, to take a trip or whatever it may be, then I feel like I've accomplished my goal. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and push the like button as well as share this video. Till next time, stay safe, be well, and make the best of every day, every hour, and every minute. Thank you.